In this lecture, I'll show you how to visually view uh, partially ordered sets, at least uh, finite ones and uh, some infinite ones. Let uh, P be a partially ordered set. And for this visualization, what will be important is another relation uh, related to the partial order, which is called the cover relation. for x and y in P, we say that x covers y. If firstly x needs to be greater than or equal to y, secondly x should not be equal to y, and thirdly there should be nothing in between x and y in the partial order. In other words, if x is greater than or equal to z and z is greater than or equal to y for some z in p then x is equal to z or x is y is equal to z so z has to be one of x and y so there's nothing strictly in between um, x and y so for example in um, the natural numbers or in non-negative integers, uh, or in integers themselves, x is, covers y. If uh, x is equal to y plus y. Okay, but in uh, the partially ordered set of uh, real numbers or rational numbers, uh, there are no covers. So cover relations are not always um, very uh, good at describing the partially ordered set, but in sets such as uh, the non-negative integers or positive integers or integers, and also in many other posets, we'll see that uh, the cover relation actually uh, allows you to completely understand the partial order. So now the Hasse diagram of a poset. And this is going to be the visualization that I'm heading towards. Is a graph. It's a directed graph in fact. Uh, whose vertices are, so let's say this poset is the poset um, P. With order relation given by less than or equal to. So vertices are elements of P. And uh, there is a directed edge. if x covers y. So that's uh, the Hasse diagram. Usually we don't draw the arrows. Uh, so the convention is that when we draw the Hasse diagram, we just make sure that we draw the node x above the node y on the page. x greater than or equal to y means that draw x above y on the page. Okay, let me illustrate this by actually drawing uh, one for you. Let's take x to be the set uh, 2. So this is the set of uh, just two integers, 1 and 2. And let's take 2 to the x with containment. So this has, uh, this partially ordered set has four elements, uh, the smallest of which is um, just the empty set. So I'll draw that here at the bottom of the page. And the largest is of course the set 1, 2. 
and then there are two sets of size one and we have edges like this so what this saying is that one two covers one one two covers two uh, we don't draw an edge from one two to uh, the empty set even though one two is greater than or equal to the empty set uh, but that's because uh, one two does not cover the empty set there are these guys one and two which lie in between so there's no edge like this here in this Hasse diagram and that's uh, so let's do, just do a slightly uh, more complicated example let's take now x to be three so we have quite a few more um, uh, elements now we have eight elements in our partially ordered set and we can draw it as follows so again we have the smallest uh, we have the smallest uh, set the empty set and on top we have the set one two three and then we have sets of size one there are three of them one two three and then we have the set uh, I'll write draw two three over here one three over here and one two I think I've drawn all the subsets of the set two three there are eight of them as you can see and the cover relations are what I'm drawing now between these two layers we have everything except the vertical lines so this is the Hasse diagram of uh, three two two to the power three so you can visualize a post set uh, readily by using its Hasse diagram and now from this picture you know exactly which element is greater than or equal to uh, which other element because an element x is greater than or equal to y uh, at least in a finite partially ordered set if you can find a sequence of directed edges going from x and ending at y.